send them? Why send these spirit-filled messengers? And the answer is because no one will find him unless he is revealed to them. It's a clear teaching of Scripture. We could look at a verse like Matthew 11, verse 27, where Jesus says, No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal Him. You see, people won't just know God on their own, at least not savingly. Everybody knows of God. Romans 1 tells us that very clearly. Through creation. Everybody knows of God. His witness is everywhere. But we cannot truly know God except if He reveals Himself to us. Because if He doesn't, He'll be veiled to us. That's what we saw with Mary. Mary was grieving, and Mary was concerned with earthly things. And she was not lifting up her eyes. That's why there was no room for the resurrection in in her thinking, because she was looking, yes, but she wasn't really seeing. And it was the Spirit who opens her eyes to see, who removes the blindness, who gave her sight, so that she could hear the voice of her good shepherd saying, Mary. Apart from the work of the Spirit, we'd be like the disciples were, afraid. So caught up with what the powerful people of this world would do to them, perhaps. And so, so that the only thing that they could think of is that this idea of resurrection seems like nonsense. They were unable to believe until the Spirit breathed upon them. And they had peace, no longer fear. And gladness instead of sadness. So you see, the point of Jesus, as we answer this why question, the point of Jesus sending the disciples is so that we would look and see him. 1 John 1, that which we have touched, we proclaim to you so that you may believe. That's the point, so that you may see him. So that you may find what you've been looking for, what you you maybe didn't even know you've been looking for. You may find him. 